Hi guys, if you watched my soul vlog from last week, then you will have seen this makeup pouch in the video. And today I will be showing you what I brought inside that pouch. Just as a quick reminder, I was only in Seoul for two nights, so I didn't need to bring that much stuff with me. This is a medium-sized pouch from Etude House's Feel the World series, and this one features China. It's a zip-up makeup pouch and has a handle at the top and says Etude House on the zipper. It's a medium-sized pouch, so I can fortunately fit all of my skincare and makeup items for a three-day trip. If I need even more space, or if I'm going on just a one-day trip, then I'll use this 3 Concept Eyes mini pouch instead. Now let's open up the pouch and take a look at what's inside. This mesh pocket is usually for my hair elastics, clips, and cotton pads. Let's go through the items one by one. With skincare, I usually bring a travel set or a tester set. Um, in the past, I've used Laneige a lot, but this time I'm using Shiseido's Vital Perfection Travel Set, which my mom gave to me this past summer. Starting with a face wash, this is the treatment cleansing foam, which I use day and night to clean my face. This is the White Revitalizing Softener Enriched, which is the toner. To accompany that, we have the White Revitalizing Emulsion Enriched. Finishing off skincare, we have the Sculpting Lift Cream. For traveling, I usually just bring whatever is most convenient. I usually have this little hair tie with me at all times as well. For base makeup, I brought my Too Cool For School Dino Plats Cinema City CC Cream. Next, we have the Bobbi Brown Longwear Eye Base in Light. Getting into the eye area, I don't do anything too complicated, so I only need a few items to achieve the look that I want. This is the Tony Moly Easy Touch Waterproof Eyebrow in number 2 Black Brown, and it basically has a crayon on one side and a brush wand on the other. For eyeliner, I've recently been using the Nature Republic Botanical Waterproof Liner in number 2 Brown. It doesn't smudge and is super long lasting. Next, I have an angle eyeshadow brush from Bobbi Brown, as well as the Sienna eyeshadow palette from 3 Concept Eyes. Although the colors have a red undertone, they still match me pretty well. Here we have a trusty eyelash curler from Shui Mura. And I recently started using Lash Sensational from Maybelline in Black as Black. I really don't know how to contour, but this is the Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodin Pack. And lastly, we have the cutest item, which is the Too Cool For School Milk Tint in number 3 Milky Red. It dries really quickly and stays on for quite a few hours. I tried to minimize what I brought with me on this trip, but unfortunately forgot my makeup remover, but that'll definitely be prioritized next time. Please check out the description box for more details, and thank you all so much for watching.